Okay, which moron told over the road about the rat? I told Carmelita. I live with Carmelita. Jesus, Sash. How many kinds of fuck with are you? I will work beside you, I will work all the hours you ask me, and more. I will do anything, everything I can for you. But I will not let loyalty to you or anyone else make me keep secrets from Carmelita. Oh, on ya. Stand up for the working man. Stop in the name of love! Shut, Shut up, up Dishy. Dishy. What do you know about either love or the working man? You have dictionary definition of a sociopath. Oh, geez, thanks, Mike. Table four? Yep. Hang on. That's burnt. What are you talking about? It is there! Not. Look at it! Table four, the fish you... You know that table four, the critic. Gabe, don't worry. Look about... at it! That fish is stuffed! Look at it! You were gonna serve that to a critic, I wouldn't serve that to a dog. Remind me, Gabriel, what was the deal we made? Go on. Friends first, before boss and employee, no matter what. Is this the way you treat a friend? If you can't stand the heat, chef. Fine. Hey. One salmon away, thank you. Dishy, work, please. Ruth's offered me my old job back. I apologise for not giving you the proper notice, but given the circumstances, it's best that I leave immediately. What are you smiling at? No, I'm not smiling. You do me a favour, Sash, before you go, can you hit me in the face as hard as you can? What? I'm serious. Don't look at me, I'm making tadpoles. Come on, Sash, hit me in the face. Why? Uh, for old times' sake, you hit me in the face, then you can walk away. I can't do that, Gabe. What, hit me in the face or walk away? <sighs> Come on. <laughs> you said it couldn't work and you were right, all right? So much for tradition, now. Huh? Oh, when that review comes out, this place... It's gonna be stone motherless dead. Let's trash this joint. They stand on one leg and watch themselves while they do it? Apparently. Is anything the matter, Sashi? No? Yes, there is. I can always tell. You're worried about something. What is it? I can't tell you. Hmm. <sighs> Lita, what are you doing? I'm gonna make you tell me. Lita. Lita, I really don't think now is the time or place for these... Oh! Shenanigans. <laughs> what could it be? What could such a big secret be? <sighs> oh, there was a crooked man who walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked style. Such a big secret that you can't tell little Lita? <laughs> he bought a crooked cat which caught a crooked mouse and they all lived together in a crooked little house. Tell me, or oh, you're in for a very, very long night. <laughs> I think we should move on. 
Mm. Huh. What are we moving on to? <laughs> Runs through the town, upstairs, downstairs. Uh, uh, I spilt my milk. Uh, uh, uh. My uncle told me the story about the man and the meat. This man asks the butcher for two rupees of meat. The butcher said the meat was very expensive. He said two rupees would buy so little that you could wrap it in a bus ticket. So the man buys the meat gets on the bus, the conductor punches his ticket. When he gets home, he realizes the meat has fallen through the punch hole. I never really understood that story. But now I think perhaps we're that man. Perhaps we have something so special that we don't realize. Perhaps we need to hold on to it before it's lost. Could you be a bit more vague? Gabe can't cook and Snatch and Grab will be finished in two weeks. 